The art of heating fine sand, sodium, calcium, and a few other minerals and rolling it into glass was invented by the ancient Phoenicians. Around about the 7th century, an Italian navigator brought the process back to Venice. And by the late 1400s, the glass blowers of Murano had established a dominance that lasted more than 600 years. And then someone did to them what they had done to the Phoenicians. Factory owner Marco Mazzega found a copy of one of his company's best-selling items for sale in the U.S. It was made in China, where they don't have to worry about worker safety or environmental hazards. And it sells for one-third the price of the real thing. So the only advantage the Murano producers have is quality. Most consumers can't tell the difference. But the Murano glassmakers say anyone who buys a fake is being cheated out of a unique history of culture and pride. In Murano, we are born near the oven, Simone Cenedesi says. It's a thing that comes to you like speaking and writing and walking. You become a glass worker. But it still takes 15 years to be called a master glassblower on Murano, the island where the glassblowers were ordered in the 13th century because their ovens were considered a fire hazard among the wooden palaces of Venice. The skills of the Murano artisans were so highly prized that they were afforded special privileges, such as being able to wear swords and their daughters could marry into the Venetian aristocracy. But any glassmaker who tried to leave the island would have his hands cut off. The punishment no longer exists, but the sentiment does. There's a whole part of Murano that thinks that secrets should be kept. There are some uh, workers who went, for example, to the to United States and taught, and uh, they were looked upon as traitors. The Chinese fakes that cut into the $240 million a year market are seen as even worse, although some glassmakers see a bright side. It hurts, Simone says, but it also means people liked what I made. If I make something bad, no one will copy it. But if it is beautiful, they will. But a combination of Chinese competition and sons not following their fathers into the glassblowing business means that the real thing is getting harder to find. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Murano.